Welcome friends, you're about to experience another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. Alright, welcome back to the Blues Heart Biker channel right here on YouTube. And uh, it is uh, New Year's Day if you're watching this on Saturday of 2022. Happy New Year everybody. Of course it's not New Year's Day now because we're filming this a few days before New Year's but New Year's Day. I'm here with my son Grant. Say hey Grant to everybody at Blues Heart Biker. Um, Grant is my son of course you know and uh, he's in town from Baltimore. He's going to school in Baltimore and he is responsible for the Blues Heart Biker channel believe it or not because on Christmas last year his gift to me was a Hero GoPro 7, which I use on my helmet as my main motovlog camera. So, there you go. You have Grant to uh, thank for the Blues Heart Biker and uh, all the goings on that happened on this channel because he gave me the camera to get my butt off the couch during COVID and uh, we did it. So, the rest is history. Today I'm going over to Dinah Joe's again to pick up my Sportster. Uh, as you can see, we're riding into car. I'm going to go pick up my Sportster and uh, bring it home. And on the way home, I'm going to test out the repairs that I have made to my audio uh, system on my Motovlog setup, my boat, my helmet camera. So we're going to. Uh, test that out because you guys know the last few videos I've been having trouble with my audio and I think I got it fixed. Uh, I think what it was is I think that that audio block that you buy for the Hero GoPro 7 I think the input was worn out on it. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. So um, away we go and uh, me and Grant we're on our way over there. And Grant rides too except he don't ride motorcycles he rides bicycles and he's ridden bicycles all over the place thousand mile trips and stuff like that so um, so he's a different kind of biker he don't play blues harp either he plays guitar bass blues guitar bass by bicycler that's gonna be his channel <laughs> anyways st st uh, stupid stuff your dad says <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't forget, uh, before we go too much further, hit that subscribe button and also give me the thumbs up. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Hit the little bell. The bell lets you know when I upload some new stuff. Let's hear your comments. Comment often. Love to hear from you. So anyways, next stop is going to be Dinah Joe's. I'm getting some sun in my face here because we're changing directions. So um, the next step is going to be Dinah Joe's V-Twin repair. I took my Sportster in there because... Uh, if you watched a couple episodes ago, I absolutely cannot get the exhaust to stop leaking. He's repair replacing the donuts on the exhaust coming out of the exhaust pipe. I can never get those things to seal up. Never, ever, ever. I've given up on it. So anyways, he's fixed that and he's taking a look at the clutch and just a few little things. So um, anyways, next stop, Dinah Joe's. Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Picking up the Sportster.
three days later. here at Scott's place now and uh, Scott over here Scott's gonna do some soldering for me um, that's one of those things I could never do uh -huh, really no I can't I can weld I could weld in I could weld I could weld half inch metal and, and penetrate all the way through it but I can't solder to save my skin I, I don't know why I've never been able to solder I can weld <clears throat> any kind of welding rod and and uh, I can weld I can MIG weld, and I can, I can, I've never really TIG welded before. I can weld with a torch, but I've never been able to solder. Isn't that something? That's something. Okay, so, you know what? Uh-oh, don't tell me. It's only has two wires, which is okay. It should have one, two, three, four. It only has two. And yeah, does so that one the same way? This one has three. Oh, I see what's going on. So now it's four. Um, so it's only got two? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, what we have to do is figure out... We have to ground one of them. And why in the hell do they put a three-prong connector on this? Yeah, I don't know. Because it's got a three-prong connector. That's the old connector right there. How's it hooked up here? Maybe you can see how it's hooked up here. Mo remove that shit off of it. One's going to go to the tip and one's going to go probably... Yeah, one goes to the tip and one goes to the, to the ground. The red probably goes to the tip probably. Oh, am I going to be able to get that off there? Oh, that's, that's okay. I don't need to. I think the red goes to the tip. Which one went to the tip on this? The red? Yeah. Yeah, the red. Make the red go to the tip. Okay. Oops. Let me just make sure that's the same as what's going on here. Just to be sure. I hate to have it not work. No, the red's not going to the tip on this one. But it's going to the ground. The red is? Mm -hmm. well, that's weird. But it was working, right? Yeah. No, it was working. Oh, no. no. <laughs> well, it, well, it used At to work. <laughs> At one point it worked.
man, I got to end the problem with this audio. It's just been, I haven't been able to get good um, episodes and I haven't been able to do anything because, no, well, it's also been raining too, so, but we got to get this figured out. We've got to get this figured out. How you guys doing? All right. All right. All right. Well, me and Scott are taking a little ride here, and uh, we're testing some things out. He's got a little audio recorder, yep. and we got our sinus going, so we can talk to each other. And I can hear him. He can hear me, and you can hear him, and you can hear me. And so, I can hear you, and I can hear me. Yeah, but you can't hear, <laughs> but you can't hear what the people are saying out there on the TV. That's true. So they could be saying they could they could turn the sound down and say all kinds of things about you and <laughs> <laughs> make fun of us. Okay. They could be saying all kinds of dirty things about us. <laughs> Hopefully, you watch where you're going, there, buddy. Keep your head up. Hopefully, we got this. I forgot to do my stop again, damn it. And I'm riding the soft tail again today. I haven't ridden this off. Now, this is a weird one because I'm usually saying how I haven't ridden my Sportster in a long time. But I've been riding the Triumph and the Sportster all the time and I haven't ridden the soft tail in a long time. And I gotta tell you, it's kind of like a dream. Yeah. after riding the Sportster, she rode my pitch back the first time and she's like, oh my God. <laughs> I love that Sportster though, but uh, you get kind of beat to death with it. Triumphs, is, Triumphs a little smoother, but you're way down here. You're all bunched up. Yeah, I need to get over and my helmet though. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe up here somewhere. Yeah, we'll go up there. Go up to the store up at Belmont and okay. Brawley. Neighborhood cleanup. The, the, the city's not this dirty, okay? It's neighborhood cleanup. <laughs> I always wonder what people would think if they came to Fresno for the first time and be like, man, this place is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and you drive them down where they got neighborhood cleanup. I'll tell you what, if you leave anything valuable out there, it won't be there within a few hours. Yeah. There's people that drive around with, you know, with big trucks and they pick stuff up and they pick up anything of any value. Uh huh. I know I've thrown things away before that, you know, were questionable um, whether they were valuable or not. And man, within a couple hours, somebody had picked them up out of my front yard. Like what? Oh, I've thrown like some old barbecues away and, you know, stuff like that, you know. Just old white elephant junk that I've got around the house. So I'm finally going to be have a chance, providing the audio is working, and if it isn't, then we're going to have uh, more fast video with funny music. And, and just me. <laughs> and yeah, and just you. <laughs> just you talking. Just me talking. <laughs> but if, if, uh, if we got, if we have audio, and I've tried to tell this story four or five times, <laughs> and it's never come out, but... The band is going back on the road, so the Blues Heart Biker is going to be in Texas for three weeks, in Arizona and Phoenix. Arizona. And, and, I'm gonna, play the dealership. and we're gonna play at a Harley dealership. Yep, we're gonna be playing at uh, American Eagle Harley Davidson in Corinth, Texas, which are, is up by Dallas. Are you gonna be doing episodes from the road? I am. I'm gonna be doing episodes from the road. Oh, cool. Yep.
yeah, I'm going to take my laptop, I'm going to take my GoPros, and maybe, uh, you know, if any of you folks are from Texas, you can, we can figure out how to meet up, you can be on the, on the, on the channel, uh, or if there's any other guys that have channels, maybe we could meet up somewhere and, uh, you know, do a little collaboration, you know, that always helps things out, helps both channels out, and uh, we're going to be mostly in the Dallas and Houston area so we're gonna be in East Texas um, almost to the Louisiana border and we're gonna be uh, Wichita Falls Houston down by Galveston and uh, we should bring um, our, our hot helmets and gloves yeah and that way if we get maybe we could do some riding somewhere yeah Yeah. Rent a bike. Yeah, they ride like that Harley dealership. <laughs> yeah. They probably rent bikes. Yeah, probably. Um and we got some friends there that ride that we can that I can talk to, you know. So it's gonna be a an interesting three weeks. So keep an eye out for it. That's gonna be in February. So I got that coming up for the channel as well. So you'll get to see Scott on the road and the rest of the guys in the band. Yeah, so maybe some music, um, video of the band playing. Yeah, yep, you get to hear the band play. So yeah, don't forget friends, if any of you guys are from Texas, Dallas area, um, Houston area, Wichita Falls, all along there. Um, Come see us. Come see us. Check us out. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull in. What are you getting at Orson's place? Uh, I have a, a boot and a, and a um, saddlebag thing. Ah, okay. So we're going to go over and see our buddy Orson. Orson's a musician, rockabilly singer, rockabilly bass player. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a singer, bass, bass player, guitar player. Um, you've traveled all over the world playing music just like we have. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and um, Arson owns a shoe shop. His father ran the shoe shop and um, and now Arson runs it, and uh, he's a real cool guy. He's got a cool motorcycle out front of his place here. Uh, we're going to go take a look at it. I think it's and, a Moto uh, Guzzi. It's an old Moto Guzzi, yeah. We're going to go check it out. You guys get to meet some more Fresno musicians. And we're going to see another cool motorcycle. His dad rebuilt that motorcycle. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I think so. Watch we get there and it's a whole nother story, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is it. It's a Lodola Gran Turismo. I think this thing is, um, I think it's a 250cc. Hmm. One cylinder? Yeah. Yeah, I think these were 250cc. These are pretty popular bikes in Italy. Beautiful. Looks like it just come right off the off the, the street, huh? The street of Rome. Yeah, beautiful man. It's beautiful.
at its speedometer. The speedometer is a work of art. Look at that, it's beautiful. They don't make them like this anymore. Absolutely fantastic. tomorrow well all right it's a wrap in fact the whole year is a wrap we're wrapping up 2021 just like that it's over with and it's done what a year it went by quick it was a year of regrouping and kind of recharging the batteries kind of getting things back together and uh, getting back on track and got back on track a little bit i don't know whether we got totally on track yet or not but we're trying so it's going to happen next year i did buy two motorcycles in 2021 this honda the triumph so i wonder what 2022 has in store <laughs> let's see what happens anyways 2022 is coming and i hope that it's prosperous for everybody i hope everybody's happy i hope everybody's healthy I hope your families stay happy and healthy and prosperous. I hope everything goes well for everybody. Um, 2022 and beyond. How about that, huh? So, Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks a lot. And I want to thank you guys for supporting this channel, watching my videos, commenting, subscribing, hitting that like button, that thumbs up that I like so much, and just being you and being cool. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate you guys. I can't believe you guys watch these videos and um, I've made almost a hundred of them this, so far and uh, just amazes me every time I see people watch them so thank you guys all right thanks a lot again happy new year I do have audio now I got my audio s straightened out no more issues with the audio so now I can get to making some more interesting content and uh, riding and talking and not having to worry about losing my audio it was really starting to stress me out, but not anymore. We got it. So anyways, happy new year again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and be cool. Take care of each other. Have a good one. Have fun. Have a good time always and be cool. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. I do appreciate you and happy new year.